when somebody looks at a brand, they're going, oh, that's a company, they're out to make money, blah, blah, blah. But when they look at an individual and I get to tell my story, which you helped me do in the strategy, and people get to know me, like you said, I think it was the biggest change that I could have done for my personal brand. And it's elevated me, whether it's with the biohacking groups or the uh, doctors groups that I work with, or even the end users. Some of the repurposed videos, one of them got 147,000 views. We were able to create a content pyramid that was the longer video, then it was a couple of breakout videos, then it was a couple of reels uh, that we could repurpose and resurface over time. And the amount of value capture is huge while the time-saving benefits are very obvious. So today I'm here with the one and only Dr. Patrick Porter. Dr. Porter, thank you for being here. Hey, thanks for having me, Mike. It's great to be on with you. Thank you. Thank you. And I think most people watching or listening, they already know who you are. But for those of you who don't know, Dr. Porter, among all the other achievements, he's the founder and inventor of BrainTap. And today, because this is a client feature interview, we're going to be talking about the importance of and also some strategies for having a very strong personal brand that can be attached to your company brand. And I think that symbiosis can be even more powerful if you have a third component, and that is having a great mission. Mission that is not only about yourself, but it's a mission about helping others, about helping the world that a lot of people can align with. And I'm aligning with Dr. Porter's mission. And uh, his mission is not small. It really is great. He is on a mission to better a billion brains. So Dr. Porter, let's talk about that mission to give people context. Yeah. Well, first, I, I first set a goal. And I, I wanted to help a million people and then we sold three million products. So I went, wow, that million, we, we went by that. We blew by that so fast. I'm like, we got to get better. So I'm a big believer. You, you have to have this big, hairy, audacious goal, you know, that they talk about. And so this BHAG that I created and I, somebody said, well, what do you really want to do? And I said, I want to change the way we think on Earth. Because I believe we all share, you know, there's like a group consciousness that we have. And someone once said that it, there's a formula for that. They've actually proved it with heart math. And I said, well, I want to better a billion brains. Because if we do, that means one in every seven people are living a life from purpose. And they're living a life where the life comes to them as a series of challenges, not a series of threats. So many people out there are living their life as if, something's out to get them like the tiger's chasing them all day long and they don't know how to get out of their nervous system dysfunction so you know this helped me my whole life has been this my dad was a silva instructor and you know i used to go around with him every other saturday and sunday setting up chairs he'd have 20 or 30 people in the room and doing these seminars and you know every time i sat in the, those seminars i thought every person on earth should be in these seminars you know they, they don't understand it and now i think we're at the age in our technology and our mindset that I think we could affect more than a billion people, but that's my first start. So hopefully I'll be proven that what 3 billion, you know, and you know, we have some big inroads in other countries. The United States is a very small country compared to the world. So, you know, we're making good progress here, but we're going to be making very big progress in India in, in Brazil and uh, Sweden and the UK. So, you know, we're just gonna keep expanding and, and changing the world because I believe when you change, this is how it worked for my family. My dad changed, he became alcohol free, learned by de-stressing himself. Look at how many lives he changed. Somebody out there, they just need to change themselves and they'll change their family. And then one of their siblings could be that person that has the next big thing that's gonna help the planet. Wow. I think you can understand why I really align with that mission. And it's uh, it's so powerful because when you feel it, when you start spending some time virtually or in person with Dr. Porter, you will feel that that mission is a passion of his. It's not just something that it's on the board somewhere in the company that people have to try to look for in a drawer or, on a, or you know, somewhere, you know, file on a computer. He actually, he this is the way that he lives his life. And um, I, you know, watching him... Uh, improve so many lives and actually living what he says that he's going to do, I really want for you to understand that 
part of this mission is the company, right? Because he's doing so much for the company. The company is not small. This is this is a growing company that I think is going to be like a snowball effect, positive snowball effect that is going to just touch so many people. And it's beautiful. On top of that, you also have the person, right, who invented it. As a founder, I can only imagine how proud he can be to invent BrainTap, right? Something that has been, you know, right now version five, improving so many lives. And now we have this person that is running the company, or if not running the company himself only because he has a big team, he is the driver for the growth of the company. So right now the attention for me as a as a strategist was how does his personal brand look like? So when people look him up, when you Google Dr. Patrick Porter, Patrick Porter, PhD, what shows up? What about if you YouTube that name? Do you see videos? Do you see the value? Do you understand and feel what I'm feeling, right? And um, let's talk about this, uh, Dr. Porter, the beginning, before we started any work together as, um, the, as we started building that personal brand, let me know how your life was then comparing to now that your personal brand is uh, stronger. Oh, well, I definitely believe the strategy has exceeded my expectations. Number one, uh, I didn't know how many people were searching my name. I thought they would be searching BrainTap because that's what I was out there promoting and pushing. And then I don't know if you're going to show them what my website looked like before. You're welcome to do that. But, you know, I didn't even know that was happening because I just thought everybody's going to be brain, doing brain tap. We put all our money, we funneled all our time. So my personal brand got neglected. I mean, I was, and even though you know, people that knew me, you know, they would say, what's wrong with your website? And I go, well, we don't deal with that. That's no big deal. But I can tell you right now, it's gotten me uh, more presence out there in the world. When people search brain tap and I come up uh, now they search me and actually, with our strategy, personal brand, I think, grows faster than a business brand. So we're finding that with your strategy of doing everything, which I can't name them all because you, you've got so many different strategies. But what happens is people, I just had somebody today, actually, I was being interviewed on a, a longevity summit. And they said, I'm going to encourage everybody to go to YouTube because there's so much in there. He, he goes, if you want to learn about this, you can go down the rabbit hole with Dr. Porter on YouTube. And you and I both know that our my YouTube was sad before that. I mean, it was it was like I had nothing. And uh, now people are talking about it on calls with me about brain tap. They're talking about because brain tap, of course, has brain tap information on it. it. Has a lot of fun things that they do, but mine is more the science and the background. If they want to know the, they want to dig in a little bit deeper, then they can go follow me and I can share it. And I think that strategy has lifted brain tap. Actually, we we've actually passed brain tap in most <laughs> social media settings, which is which is kind of uh, amazing. But I, I think it's because there's uh, when somebody looks at a brand, they're going, "Oh, that's a company; they're out to make money." Blah blah blah. But when they look at an individual, and I get to tell my story, which you helped me do in the strategy, and people get to know me, like you said, I think it was the biggest change that I could have done for my personal brand, and it's elevated me. Whether it's with the biohacking groups or the uh, doctors groups that I work with, or even the end users when I go to uh, conferences that are uh, just for the uh, you know the general public, like consciousness uh, experiences and and dealing with energy medicine practitioners and things like that. This is you know it warms my heart to to hear these words, and it's 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 because you see it's almost like you had this invention, right? brain tap it was a concept and then from the concept you see the first version you know it's not perfect you want to improve it you keep improving and then you see it growing and eventually you start hearing more and more feedback from people about brain tap in a very similar way a lot of things we talk about right now it was a concept in 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 my mind that i really would like people to have that feeling about your brand and how we do it when we do it, these specific strategies, that's something that was a white piece of paper or Trello, right? That I wanted to, to make sure that we fill in. And now hearing this type of feedback means a lot. To me, it's not only that, it's also connection, right? Because like you mentioned, people follow, or, or you mentioned that it surpassed brain tap in some uh, aspects. And I think it's because people follow people much more than they follow the logo. They can follow the logo because of course, like I can I can follow Tesla, for example, 
but the connection, and I'm actually thinking about Elon Musk. And I think one thing that would be really important to mention here is that there is not real competition between these two. Because when you have a personal brand and then you have this company brand that is very strong, a lot of people, especially healthcare providers, they have the dilemma like one versus the other. Do I do my practice branding or do I do my personal branding? And I think one can not only coexist uh, with the other in a symbiotic relationship, but it can also support. Let me know your thoughts on this and how do you see that between BrainTap and Dr. Porter as a brand? Well, I think that it basically, I know we're closing more business because people want to know, you know, they don't want to just put something on their head and, and for brain entrainment if they don't know the person who did it. When it's a, when it's kind of like they might be thinking it's like a cyborg or something and you gave it a personality. And I know we see it coming back and forth because one of the, one of the biggest lead generations we find when they track our, uh, the websites that visit BrainTap is from Dr. D.R. Patrick Porter. So, you wow. know, obviously they're coming from, my website to BrainTap. We have a lot of links there, of course, because my personal brand is going, when they get to the point where they want to buy something, obviously I'm going to refer them over to my company to, to do that. And uh, also in my company website where I don't really want to have a lot of other brands and other things that I think are very useful, we can put those on my personal brand. We've only just started in uh, one month. I did over $27,000 in referral revenue, you know, just from doing our little videos and talking about uh, breaking up other people's talks I did with them and putting it on my personal brand site basically raises my credibility. And then I'm not always just talking about brain tap because my real yes. goal is for bettering a billion brains. And right now it happens to be brain tap. I mean, I'm hoping that I invent something even better. We're always inventing. We, I mean, my research um, team, we're always looking at what can we do to, um, wake people up easier and better? How can we get them to sleep longer and harder? How can we get them to play faster and, and smarter? You know, all these things are happening all the time. And so we're going to, we're not going to stop. I mean, I'm the kind of person that if you saw my first, uh, it was called the MC Square, it was built out of a company called Radio Shack. We used to build them in the back office. So now we, we mass produce them and make you know, thousands of them at a time. And, uh, you know, we sell more in a day than I used to sell in a month, you know, because people, we have a, a relationship there. And in my brand, uh, people that start to use BrainTap, they also start to know me because they're listening to my voice, even though we have 67 different voices on BrainTap, uh, because I have the strongest voice, you know, and they go find me. Uh, I've asked the other people they should be doing the same thing. They should be building their personal brand so people know that they're on BrainTap and then they would, uh, you know, even have a bigger following. Yeah. And I think that's really powerful. And for those of you who don't know, even my daughter is one of nine year old right now, but eight year old when, when she recorded it, even she has a meditation on, on, on BrainTap. And that's something that um, I'm proud to say because it's, I didn't ask her to record a meditation for BrainTap. She was trying BrainTap and she says, you know, I would like to, I would like to listen to kids. I, not, not a program for kids by adults, but I would like to listen to other kids. I'm like, what would you like to do? Would you like to record something? She says, sure. And that's, uh, that, that, that's where we are right now. But the, 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 the part that I would like to also bring to your attention, listening or watching this video is imagine this personal brand and branding, people have different definition of this. For me, branding is the process of creating a feeling that will help people decide to choose you. The process of creating a feeling that will help people de decide to choose you. So how do you create a feeling? I think one of the things is that we need to also make sure that we, we have this value transfer, value capture, value transfer. So what I'm seeing here with Dr. Porter is not a mountain, but it's like, it's it's a massive group of mountains of value, right? That I cannot even comprehend with my little brain here that it keeps getting improved by brain tab. You yeah. know, this, this type of value is something that I know exists. And now I need to bridge the gap so we can have this perceived value on the other side for the viewer, right? So how do we capture value? Let's talk about some strategies. Number one is... If you're not using this, I think most people right now are using this, but if you're not using this, I strongly suggest videos, both long form, mid form and short form like reels, because that allows you to 
repurpose the same piece of content. And for amazing people on a mission like Dr. Porter, you don't have time to create tons of videos. You ideally want to save time and have your team repurpose all that stuff, right? So one of the strategies uh, that we can talk about right now is, is, is videos. In specifically, I would like to mention that moment that you came in to our friends here in Maryland, uh, Maryland Chiropractic Association, right? So it was a talk. Uh, to a group of chiropractors about brain health and talking about dementia, talking about Alzheimer's, uh, so valuable, right? And I think most people can relate to this if you're a speaker yourself, that sometimes you speak and the amazing people listening to this will remember it. And quite frankly, they will forget 80% of this shortly after. But then who knows about this, right? So what is your strategy to capture the value? What we did with Dr. Porter is we asked if we can mic him up. And for that portion, for just for the talk, the only time investment, I think it was approximately one minute to have Weston mic you up. And now we are we are good. From this, we were able to create a content pyramid that was the longer video, then it was a couple of breakout videos, then it was a couple of reels uh, that we could repurpose and resurface over time and the amount of value capture is huge while the time-saving benefits are very obvious, right? So let's talk about that moment, how you felt, Dr. Porter, because I think you didn't have too many of these done before, right? Right. Yeah, I would I would do it with my phone or somebody would record something that wasn't good enough quality. So your team came out with all the equipment. I thought it was awesome. And then you started repurposing it. I mean, I... I some of the repurposed videos, one of them got 147,000 views. And I didn't really do anything more than I usually do. We did the same thing when you came with me to the biohacking event, where you followed me around. We got content from all the great, I mean, there's so many great minds at biohacking, so many great influencers that are using things that are willing to share. We got interview after interview. I mean, we got almost a whole year's worth, it seemed like. And now we're still breaking those out. And we're going to get some more here in the next month, you know, because I think it's the best strategy on earth because when you're there and if you're like me out there and you're in the moment, I say things differently if I'm in front of a group of a thousand or 2000, 3000 people than I would if it's just you and I on Zoom, you know, so the energy drives that behavior and gets the right information. And then you can capture that information, break it up into these little reels, which you did a phenomenal job with us. And uh, and then we also did a uh, deal with videos, which I thought was really cool, was you actually thought of, like, for instance, um, Mental Health Awareness Week. We we did a little talk like this. You had a piece of software that actually looked like you guys were here in the room with me. We did our video. Then you were able to cut that up. So I didn't even have to travel for it. I didn't have to pay for a, a an expensive studio. But we got the information out to the audience which is what they wanted. You know, we are in the mental wellness industry, so we should have been like we were. You you helped me to do something I would have never had the time to do. We, I think we might have spent 45 minutes. You did the video. We did the video. I walked away. You created reels from it, and uh, we used it throughout the month, and that was great. And, you know, we continue to do things like that as well. Yeah, I think that I appreciate the compliment, and at the same time, I'm trying to figure out the best way to inspire people watching this to find very simple strategies to capture the value, right? So just think about, I was looking at Dr. Porter and all the value that I'm seeing and what needs to be captured. And by the way, just to be super clear, and there's a disclaimer here, we are super far from perfect, okay? We make mistakes, sometimes we mess up. I'm not saying that any agency can be perfect for you. But what I'm saying is that you should look at the big picture and progress over perfection. And if you want to capture your value, let's say you are at a, like we mentioned, biohacking conference. Dr. Porter is in so many events every single year that it's hard for me to even capture all of it, right? But from time to time, he gets our team and says, okay, let, just like this biohacking conference upcoming, right? We're going to fly our head of media. I'm going to be there as well. We're going to create a ton of content. The impact of that is huge because it allows to capture the value of that moment. And for example, when we transferred that to subscribers to YouTube, our YouTube was growing slower than we wanted because that's how YouTube works, that at the beginning is a little bit slower, right? So we were at about 1,500 subscribers, 1,500, 1,500, and then 15 uh, with a little bit uh, of extra, right? And right now, after the biohacking conference, when I look at the subscription and which videos drive the subscriptions the most, 
almost all of them, the, the top hitters are from the biohacking conference. The interviews, the meditation, you can look them up yourself. Go to the R. Patrick Porter YouTube channel, you will see them. But this is one way to capture value, right? Another way to capture value is Dr. Porter is a lot in the news. So he's invited, for those of you who, who know, for you, it's it's you know a, a common practice, but a lot of people will be very surprised. He's literally everywhere, right? So sometimes, literally even today, you texted me, another, the PR company, sends us a report that you know he was featured in a, in Forbes or somewhere else right and now my team is going to create a piece it may be a more complex or a more simple piece but we want to make sure that we post it somewhere so people can see that he was featured so think about different ways that your value is being delivered to people and then think about how can your team capture that value and display it to to others I wanted to ask you, Dr. Porter, also when it comes to working with agencies, because I know you have a lot of people contacting you and sometimes the key is to find really good synergy, right? Between your existing team and whoever is there and then your other team. And I think for us, one of the core values that we have is to collaborate, right? Is to always have that symbiosis between the two. So tell me your experience. How does it look like in your eyes and also share with our audience, how can that be happening? Yeah. Well, as an entrepreneur out there, if you're like me, there's a saying, marketers ruin everything. And and I found that to be true up until I met you and what your agency is doing, because a lot of times they don't listen to you. They have their own mindset or you talk to the head guy. You get this great relationship and then they put you with some junior person who doesn't know what they're doing. We have our meetings together. You know, I'm talking directly to you. You're doing the work. I mean, you have your team do a lot of the work, but I mean, you're the one who's orchestrating it. I think it's important that you have a good orchestra leader and someone who knows your vision. And you spent a lot of time with me up front, you know, learning about brain tap. And we knew each other for years before we ever did this business. I mean, we wrote a book together on weight loss years ago. And so we knew each other and I still didn't use you until you sat down and you, and you basically showed me you know, you have a lot of missed opportunities here. We were making good money. We we're doing our thing. But my personal brand was suffering. And you've helped out our other brand because you're willing to work with our team. And that's another thing is a lot of people, they want it all. They want to know what your budget is. They want to take it all. You are, you know, there's a saying, you know, uh, pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered. And, you know, in your case, you know, you're doing the right thing. You're doing, you're, st you're staying in your lane. You could do a lot more, obviously, but you're doing what you need to do for my personal brand. It's working great. And you're assisting us in our team and you're working with our PR team team. I mean, when you were there at biohacking, they were so appreciative of how your team worked with them. It wasn't like you tried to take over and try to change our message. You found a way to dovetail it in. And I think that we didn't know all the assets we had. We didn't know even how to use them. I'm not a, I'm not, my, my background is neuroscience. It's not social media, you know? And so, so uh, you know, and so I don't know anything about, so, and I think that's what I told you. I said, oh, Facebook. So, you know, it's no big deal, but now that we're in it and I'm not, I'm not doing it all. You guys are taking care of most of it. Your team is, you know, if you get some high level questions or something, you come to me, but I mean, you've pretty much, I'm pretty much hands-free, you know, and it's, uh, that's the way I want it. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to spend six hours on social media learning about whatever I want to just in, in my job, I feel like my job is to get my message out to the world. And I think that if you find a, some, an agency you're working with, that isn't listening. I would move as fast as possible because they are, what they're going to give you is a cookie cutter. You know, so many people say, I have a strategy. It's like this. We, we know what you do is you test if it works, we do more of it. We started testing some things, then we put the accelerant on it. I mean, the growth, when I when I contacted you, I said, what's going on? Why why is it growing so fast? And you said, I don't know, what are you doing? And it's just like, we've hit that massive, that critical number where now we're adding people so often and people are sharing our posts and doing their things. It didn't happen overnight. And I was patient because I know how it works, you know? And I think that uh, whatever the process that you did wasn't out there in a textbook. You basically took all, all the knowledge you had and we started testing what works for my business. And I know I've referred a couple of people to you that are just super happy because you did the same thing with them. It's not the same as what you're doing with me because they're different. You know, when people have different businesses, you got to take a different view. And I think too many people, too many agencies, they find a magic 
something that works for them or one client, and then they try to cookie cutter that into everything else that's going on. And I think that's the biggest thing to look out for. And, you know, we've been burnt, you know, we've been burnt by marketers in the past. And I told you that when we got started, I said, mm -hmm. I want to, I just want to do a short term thing. Let's see how you do. And immediately when you came back with the look of my, my YouTube channel, I thought, yeah, I mean, and we're not even done designing all of my social media yet, what you're doing. And it's still doing really good because we're taking it slow and we're building everything up and it's, it's solid. Yes. Thank you. And I think it's all about customization and making sure that it fits with your vision and with your mission, right? So one of the things I'm, I'm thinking about for people watching is uh, just simple strategies that are working so great for uh, Dr. Porter's brand is reels. Like we had no reels. This was literally, I, I think I posted myself the first reel on, on Dr. Patrick Porter's uh, Instagram and reels have proven to be really good. The second thing with reels is also collaborative reels. So from time to time, you may have a partner. It could be your collaborating partner that you absolutely love working together with. And when you post uh, on Instagram and Facebook collaboratively, one of the advantages is the same piece of content instead of competing on two platforms can be posted collaboratively and can be seen from both angles. And now you have more reach. You have more, more people know about you and you also can... In the case of Dr. Porter, who already has a powerful platform, he can invite other people on his platform as well. Podcasting, you know, all these content pyramids when, when he's speaking, events, media features, there's tons of different strategies. And I think the, the details can always be customized. I just wanted to, to let people know that the key for us is to integrate with the needs and with the existing team and work with very good energy because nobody has time for any additional drama. And I think many times people are just so stuck on the process that they cannot innovate and improve. Even right now, every single month, we are thinking about what can we innovate to use more, maybe AI, maybe additional support, maybe collaborating with other agencies. And we love that because the most important thing is the growth and the happiness of the client. How we do it is for us on the on the bottom level to figure out so they can move the mountains of value uh, between between themselves and others, which is really, really important. So people watching this, maybe they want to contact us as a as a marketing agency, healthcare marketing, healthcare branding, maybe some business development consulting. Maybe they want to connect with the doctors in our group. How do you feel, Dr. Porter, about the two types of investment, right? So we have the money and we have time. How do you feel about both? Well, I think you're very affordable. I mean, there, there's no question there for what you offer. Uh, we've had been pitched on actually about five times that amount, uh, almost weekly, people saying that they could do something different or better. Uh, the main thing it did for me was you, you're you always on time. You're you're posting as much as we we need you to, but it freed me up. I mean, I didn't have time to do it anyway. When you said, why aren't we doing it? I said, I have no time. You know, this is not my, my, I'm not a social media marketer and I don't want to learn it. I don't, I mean, I would be happy, uh, you know, just letting the team take it all over, but I've got to be involved somehow and you make it easy for me. So you put together everything we need to talk about very succinct. We spend a half hour every two weeks kind of going on. We, we were spending more time, of course, at the beginning to learn, but at the, now it's, it's almost on autopilot. We'd say, here's all the things that we have. I send you daily uh, when I'm in the news, like uh, whether I'm in a magazine or I'm being asked all the time to write articles for magazines. And then of course the news is having me on, especially during these last two months with, because it's brain awareness month and mental um, next month is actually another a brain. Seems like brains available every month or somebody's doing something about it, which is good for us. And, you know, I'm, I'm thinking before, Nobody would know about that. If you didn't read the article or you didn't see it on television, we didn't repurpose it. But now that you're repurposing it, and I'm going to encourage everybody to go to the site and look at it because what you've done with those repurposes, they share, those get shared big time. And, um, you know, and when we do those collaborative ones, you know, that's how I think we we're building our network because I'm fortunate enough to, to have partnerships with some of big names in the industry from the medical world to the quantum world to biohacking. You know, these are all places where I, I play and, but I didn't know how to take advantage of those. And, you know, I would do the podcast with them and then it was one and done, you know, if they saw it, it was, it was over, but now I can't tell you how many times I go to an event. I was just in LA at the health span summit.
And when I stood up to talk, I thought they thought I was a rock star or something. And they go, Oh, you are. Just, <laughs> just, because they, they, uh, they sent out all of our social media links to everybody who was going to be there. And they didn't send out brain taps. They sent out mine because I was speaking at this health span summit and people were so impressed. They go, I, I, there's so much information there. Before I would have never, I would have never thought of doing it. I couldn't have done that. I would have embarrassed. They would have had to send out brain tap. And then people would have said, why am I getting about brain tap? Dr. Porter is the one who's going to be speaking. So I think if, you know, whatever you do in your business, people want to know what the story is behind it, how it works. There's always something fascinating. When you go online, it's it's more than cat videos, you know. So there's a, <laughs> there's a lot we can do there. Yes. And I think one of the major mistakes that a lot of people make, especially healthcare providers, is we are, it's so easy to get caught up with this race for followers and likes. And I want to just put a disclaimer here. Ask yourself first, what do you, what is the function of your content before you decide on the number of followers being the number one metric? Because there are strategies that you can get a ton of followers. But when I, when I look at your social media, I may not necessarily understand the value, right? So the value transfer is, is, is really important here. And I think sometimes it's better to have a little bit less likes, but real likes. I see these people with 10,000 likes sometimes, and I am just out of curiosity, I may click here and there and I see that they're not real. And then I just smile because I understand that some people do it. You have the true following. And yes, maybe some videos will have a thousand views, some 200, some 200,000, right? It, it can fluctuate, but it doesn't matter as much. But when people look you up, they understand the value, they connect to it and they stay just like on your YouTube channel from 1500 followers or subscribers. We are now at over 26,000. Very proud to see that. And I think it's going to continue to grow. And you mentioned one other thing that is really important for people to know that I mentioned, because I wanted to, to introduce Dr. Porter to other doctors. And we have, we talked about, you know, people are going to Google you and this is what they see. And that's how it all started. Uh, mm. How can I introduce you if this is what they see? Do you want them to go to this website or do I give them brain tap? And and that was a, a, a big question. So let's talk about lost opportunities. So when money is flowing out from a company or a personal brand to a marketing agency, you feel it every month, X amount of thousands of dollars, you feel it. And I'm sure you feel it. And then you, requ you request the value back, which is, you know, leads, the business. First of all, I suggest five ROIs versus one, because one piece of value, one piece of content can give you education can give you capturing of an event or value can give you lead generation can give you collaborative opportunities and networking etc 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 so five versus one is is, is uh, one thing that i would like people to understand another thing is the loss of opportunity that is the silent cost so if somebody is looking you up and maybe it's a big collaborating partner that could be a million dollar collaboration for brain tap or for you in the next you know, 25 days, 26 days, and they're like thinking about something. They're looking at your stuff. And the moment that they look at this stuff and they say, I don't know, that can be a million dollar cost. Or for somebody else could be 1500. For somebody else could be 500. And in healthcare, it's even more important because it could be somebody's health. Somebody's brain could get improved. So for me, it means a lot when this is part of integrative healthcare. And that's why I'm so proud to let people know about BrainTap. BrainTap works. I get. I have the equipment here. Monica, my wife, has the equipment. My, our daughter is using this uh, as well. And I will tell you, this stuff is part of healthcare, even though it's in, in, in your home. And if you would like to try it, I'm going to link some information below the video as well. Please follow Dr. Porter. If you have any questions, ask us because we are here to help you. And remember, there is power in having a personal brand that can be attached to your company brand and the third component is a very, very powerful mission. Have a great mission, and I wish you all the best. And Dr. Porter, thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you. And I can't encourage all of you to reach out to, to Mike and see what he can offer you, because uh, I've, I've referred several people to him, all the ones I could think of, and they've all come back saying, hey, if he could help them, he has. You know, and I think it's great. Thank you so much. All the best. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great Dr. Porter.